Hi, and welcome back. I'm real excited to take you on an interior tour of this Renegade Classic that we've designed. But in this video, I'm gonna slow down a little bit and try to talk about a lot more of the key features that I think maybe we've been overlooking in some of the past videos. And everything starts right here at the entrance steps. You know, you're gonna be going in and out of this thing all day, every day. So we asked Renegade to make a really nice wide entry steps in here. We had them spray bed liner on it. So this is an area that's really easy to, you know, if you come in with muddy boots, you can stomp your feet on it. You can take a hose and wash it out. You can sweep it. It's a real industrial real type entryway that's going to just hold up to lots and lots of abuse. As you can see, we've also equipped this with the Renegade boot steps. So there's an area where you can just slip your shoes off and throw them under the first shelf. Or if you have bigger boots like my uh, muck boots here, you can lay them sideways and throw them underneath that one. And it's often overlooked, but it's a really nice feature to have. You know, you don't want to go into your coach with wet boots on and track the place up. Now, as we pan up a little bit, we're going to take a moment and point out the LED lights that are up underneath the edges here. And that's real important at night when you're climbing in and out of the coach that the stairwell is very well illuminated. Renegade's done a nice job of using LED lights in this area and uh, I just can't say enough good about this entry step. Now we're going to move into the main coach and just take a panoramic shot here to try to give you a you know, an overview of what this beautiful coach looks like on the inside. And overwhelmingly, when everybody gets in this, they cannot believe how big it is and just how light the wood makes everything feel inside the coach and very homey. We're gonna start with showing you the cabinets. And in every video I talk about, you know, Renegade is truly Amish built. It's not, we don't use it as a catchphrase. These cabinets are really built by absolute craftsmen. And all you gotta do is look at them to see the quality. We've been equipping all of our coaches with flex steel furniture. We think it's the best furniture on the market. The hard part to show you in this video is that this dinette, if you notice, there's no post coming down in the middle of the table, which makes it real easy for getting in and out of the dinette. You're not tripping your foot up over a post. The table is so solid that, you know, I'm 250 plus pounds and I can sit very comfortably at the table. It's very easy to grab the table and pull myself up. If you look to the right of the center post there where the dinette's bolted to the wall, you'll see a 110 outlet. So it's a great place to plug in your laptop. There's one on each side so you can have two outlets. So each of you could be running your laptop or charging your cell phones. Uh, just really nice. There's great storage underneath both of the dinette seats and it's just everybody that sits in this says it's the most comfortable dinette they've ever sat in in their life. Now we're going to move over to the sofa area of this coach and we're going to show you the cabinets overhead of them. It's lots and lots of storage space in this coach. You can almost get lost if you start counting all the storage areas. You know, in our coach, we thought about labeling them because there was just so many bins. We just kind of were losing track where everything was. Okay, now before we move too far into the couch, I want to point out to you the convenience packages. And we've been equipping our coaches with a 110 outlet right next to the sofa here. You know, today is the digital age. Either our kids are plugged in or uh, another family member. It seems like everybody's charging something. So we made sure to put 110 outlets everywhere you might be sitting. So you can run that laptop or Nintendo game or anything like that. And I really want to point that out because all of these little things just add to the enjoyment of living in one of these luxury coaches. It's one thing when you work really hard, you want to play hard, and the last thing you want to do is get out on the road and have issues and have things not be very convenient. So we've worked really hard to make sure that every little detail was thought out. Now as we look at this flex steel sofa, I want to point out that there's three sets of seat belts in there, so if you have extra passengers, you can secure them in right here. This is a height of bed with an actual full air mattress. There's a 110 pump that snaps on here. It takes about 45 seconds to air this mattress up. Very comfortable, very user friendly, and it's very easy to get access around it when the sofa is out, you have access to the front of the coach. It's really hard to show, it was bright outside today and we didn't set the dark shades, I'm trying to get the camera to show you, but there's several different lighting levels that you can choose from inside of your coach, whether you want all the lights on or just the wall sconces or just the LED lights in the windows, you get tons of choices. Now the hutch here is something I'm very proud of and the reason we started putting this hutch in these coaches was so that whoever's traveling with you, if it's a kid or another friend or family member and they're staying in the bunk over the cab, they can use this entire hutch right here to store all of their clothes. Another thing we did is 
We added an extra 110 outlet with a USB charger on it so you can charge your cell phone or your iPad. Everybody's got a place to charge something. You can see this coach has the optional Vibe fabric. It's a real textured wall padding on it. I think it just really adds a level of uh, elegance to this coach. Now we're going to move over to the entryway and I mean this is really the crown jewel of this coach and what's really fantastic about it is when you enter the coach you have a, a little landing area if you want to place your shotgun there or you want to put fishing poles or you want to put your ski boots or your snow skis there you have an area in the corner to prop things up. We've put extra coat racks over the top of the doorway so if you come in and your gear's all wet you can hang your coats up right here. The water's going to drip down onto the entry step that has the bed liner in it and that's a great place for everything to air off. You know if you don't have an entry like this you're forced with hanging all your wet clothes in the uh, in the shower. I mean, we just felt it was kind of senseless, so we really designed a neat entryway. We also offer this coach standard with this cover that goes over the stairwell, so if you have small children or animals or anything, you can put this cover over the step and it'll really just kind of seal off that area for you. It doesn't really show well here, but these two switches can be reached from outside the coach, so as you step out, if you want, you can just shut all the batteries off to the whole coach. You can also control the step lock from either inside or just from standing outside of the coach. Which it's a real nice feature. So another thing that I'm really proud of here at IWS is we got really frustrated with manufacturers not labeling the switches. So we designed our own set of labels. So we personalize your coach. We make sure every switch has a, a title on it, on and off. We personalize the label to fit each and every coach to fit your needs so that when you walk in, you understand which switch does what. This here is for the ceiling fans. It's a high and low. And then this switch here runs the awning. It's also remote control on the awning, but it also has a manual override as well. As I get older, it becomes harder and harder for me to see, so we asked Renegade to mount all of the coach functions right here in the entryway. So as soon as you enter the coach, you turn to your right, it's right there at eye level, so you can control the auto gen start features. We can walk you through all the programming of that, where you can program the generator to come on based on voltage, based on temperature, based on time of day. All of these features are right here at your fingertips. Also the jack equalizer, the generator start button, and all of the other features. Then we're gonna dissect these one by one in just a minute, but I want you to know everything's right here and it's easy to use. And one of the things that we really try to do with our coaches is make them easy for you to use and enjoyable. Without exaggerating, when you pull into a campground with this coach, in less than five minutes, you should have the generator running, the water heater going, the jacks all leveled, and all of the slides out. That really just makes things easy on you, and it makes RVing a lot more enjoyable for you. And it's something we really pride ourselves on is making everything accessible and easy for you to use. Now I want to talk about the auto gen start feature on these coaches. And there's an awful lot of things you can do with this. You can control the incoming voltage, you can program this to start the generator when the batteries get low. You can tell it to run four or five hours at a time and then shut off for so long. You can tell it to start first thing in the morning. We can tell it to start based on temperature inside of the coach. We can link it to your air conditioners. There's all kinds of features. And I really just want to assure you that, you know, as we're going through these features really quick, don't be alarmed. When you buy a coach from IWS, we're gonna give you our Advantage package, walk you step-by-step step through programming each one of the functions. When you buy a coach from us, you get our cell phones and we answer them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're gonna make this experience really enjoyable for you. You know, we always say we sell luxury coaches for people that want a luxury lifestyle and we back it up with luxury service. Now we're going to talk about the Renegade Master Control Panel. And what we're going to do is start here on the left, and I'm going to touch the LPG button. And when you push this button in, the LED lights are going to give you a status of the current amount of uh, propane that's in the tank. As you can see here, the propane tank is full. Next, we're going to touch the gray tank button. And this is where your wastewater would be stored from your sink and from your shower. As you can see, when I push this button, it shows that the tank is one-third full. So you still have two-thirds of tank remaining to fill up. 
The next button we're gonna push is the black tank and that's where the water from your septic is stored. And as you can see on this, the LED indicates that it's empty. Then the next one is the fresh water tank. When we push this button, you can see that the tank is full or you have 150 gallons of fresh water available. These are really handy when you're wanting to get a status condition of uh, the holding tanks and the propane levels and the battery conditions of your coach. And as I mentioned with batteries, the last button here, when you push the batteries, it'll show your battery conditions. Now we're gonna move through the switches on the top. And the very first switch on the left turns on the water pump in the coach. The next switch is for the storage light for the storage compartments underneath the coach. The next switch is for the holding tank heaters. So there's electric heat strips underneath the holding tanks. When you turn this switch on in the winter, it keeps anything from freezing in there. The next switch is for the electric water heater. You can choose to have the water heater either on electric or LP propane. Then as we move down, the first switch you'll see is for the main room slide out, in and out. The last switch here is the generator e-start switch. And this is a function that you would use in the event that the generator battery went dead. You could turn the key on on the chassis, push this E button switch down, and that will allow the generator to start off of the truck batteries. Once the generator starts, you let go of the button and the generator switches back to its own batteries. It's a fantastic feature. Now I'm gonna take a moment and talk to you about the hydraulic leveling system that we install on all of our Renegade coaches. An important thing to point out is that we use a two-stage hydraulic system. So the jacks hydraulically push down, and more importantly, they hydraulically lift. A lot of other coaches out there are using springs to return the jack leg, and if you're ever out in muddy conditions or soggy soil, and you push your jack leg and it penetrates the ground, if you don't have a hydraulic system to pull it back out of the ground, a lot of times you're stuck in the ground because the springs can overcome the pressure. We really think this is a fantastic way to go. It's very easy to use. You start out with, when you arrive on your location, you turn on the power button, push the auto level button, the jacks come down and automatically level the coach. When it's time to leave or depart from your trip, you turn the power button back on, hit the all retract button, and the jacks all come up automatically. There are quite a few other manual features that we can go through on this uh, to teach you how to further use it if you want. And we offer those on our IWS Advantage package. Now we're gonna do a quick overview of the generator start feature. This is a very simple to use system and it's very reliable. We really like to stick with the Cummins Onan generators. We think it's the best generator on the market. I'm gonna walk you through the start procedure. The generators that we equip on our coaches have glow plugs on them and they have an electric fuel pump. So when you go to start the generator, the light's gonna rapid flash while the glow plugs are preheating in the generator and the fuel pressure is being built. Once the light stops flashing, the generator starts and you just remove your finger from the switch. And that's about all there is to know about this feature. Now we're gonna move around into the kitchen area and this kitchen is just absolutely breathtaking. And if you just take a moment right here to look at the amount of storage cabinets and storage area on this coach, it's just, it's just unbelievable. As I've said before, all of the cabinets on these coaches are dovetailed drawer construction. They all have full length, soft closed drawer slides on them. They're just beautiful. Here Tyler's reaching an arm in to show you how deep these things are. They're just huge pantries. It's very usable, very accessible, all adjustable shelves. Just can't say enough good about this coach. Now as we move around the counter, kitchen counter area, I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about convenience packages that we're offering. And as you notice on each side of the window, we put a 110 outlet on each side. You know, it gives you two places to keep your coffee pot or your toaster or another place to charge a cell phone. We wanna give you lots of options, so we install lots of 110 outlets. And I hope as you continue this journey with us, you'll see how hard we're trying to make these things be all they can be. This coach is equipped with a residential style stainless steel sink with two bowls in it, has a full size residential faucet with a pull out sprayer. We've also got the sink covers on it. 
I just can't say enough good about having a high quality sink that's deep so you can wash deep pans. You know, when you're traveling on the road, you don't have to be limited. It's just like you're bringing the home with you. Here I'm going to show you the three burner gas range on this coach. It has the removable covers on the top. The microwave is a microwave convection oven. I say it in every video. Me and my wife loved ours so much that we had the same thing installed at our home. Really come to enjoy these dual purpose microwaves and ovens. Okay, now we're gonna talk a little bit about the refrigerator that we've installed in this coach. This coach is a dual fuel refrigerator, so that means it'll run on electricity or propane. Whichever fuel source is available, it can switch automatically or you can choose to have it select manually. You'll also notice there's a water maker and an ice maker in the door. This refrigerator is 13 cubic foot, so there's lots of area to store things. The shelves are designed to have little bars that fold up to keep your food from sliding back and forth. We've been doing an awful lot of these refrigerators and we've been extremely happy with them. We're really fond of the electric door lock feature. A really great feature on the dual fuel RV refrigerator that we install is that it has a key lock feature. So as soon as you turn the key on in your coach, the refrigerator door automatically locks. When you turn the key off, it automatically unlocks. Now, I do want you to know that you can override this when you're going down the road and manually lock and unlock the door. Many times I've drove down the road and forgot to lock my refrigerator and the doors come open when I turn a corner. And this helps alleviate that problem. Now we're gonna move up into the entertainment system of this coach and boy does it get me excited. A few of the things that we've done on these coaches is we've really ratcheted up the sound system in it. And as you can see, this comes with an Onkyo home theater system in it. There's speakers mounted in the ceilings. We have a highway subwoofer under, uh, underneath the coach that really, you know, when the cannons go off on the TV show, you're really gonna feel the thump inside of the coach. And if you're more of a opera person, you can detune that down and you, we can tailor made the sound system to suit your specific needs. But everything starts with having a good sound system and a good AV unit as the starting point. And we really feel that Onkyo is, is really one of the best ways we could achieve that sound for you. Another thing we've done in here that's a little maybe overlooked in a lot of coaches, we, we have air conditioning ducts routed in here to help keep the components cool for you when you're using your stereo over over and over. Here we're going to show you everything we've done on this coach is Bluetooth rated so if you want to sync your iPhone or your MP3 player to the stereo it's very easy to do and we'll walk you right through that. When you're here we'll help you sync to it. We also offer this on our Advantage videos so it's very easy to use our coaches and we're going to get behind you and help make everything simple. Another thing that we've started doing is we started using the WineGuard Traveler and with this satellite system you can lock onto three or more satellites in the sky. I don't think there's a better satellite system on the market. And what's really neat about this is we can put direct TV receivers in that with DVR feature. So when you're in good areas you can record TV shows. When you move into a, an area where you can't get satellite signal you'll still be able to play them TV shows back. And I think this is just absolutely money well spent if you're at all interested in watching TV. You know, another feature we've been doing for our customers that they really like is we've been installing roof-mounted, high-powered cell phone boosters. Um, it's an extremely expensive option, but many of our customers are always in remote areas, and by adding this roof-mounted um, antenna system, we can really boost the range that your cell phone will work, and then you can use your cell phone as a hotspot inside of the coach to operate all of the smart TVs. And we think it's just a fantastic system, and it's something because of the size of the antennas that we need to install before you take delivery of your coach. So we've been equipping it as standard unit on all of our classes. As we move back in to look at the AV system, you'll also notice this coach is equipped with a DVD and a Blu-ray player up on the upper left there. We've equipped this coach with a motorized TV slide and I think it's more function than form, but here we are, we're going to slide the TV out. All of our coaches are equipped with LED smart TVs, so you have all the apps on them. But it's really nice to be able to slide this TV out when you want to view it, or slide it back behind the refrigerator, you know, when it's not in use. I think it's just a really nice feature. 
Now as we move up into the bunk area, there's quite a few features that I want to talk to you about. And probably the most overlooked feature is the ladder getting up into the bunk. So we have Renegade build larger bunk rooms. So when you're climbing up and down this ladder at night in your bare feet, it doesn't hurt your feet. It's just something that just gets overlooked on all these other coaches, but we feel it's very important. With this particular coach, we've installed the larger oversized bunk. and. The big feature of that is if you have a kid or an adult, you can sit up here inside on the bed and you can sit with your back straight and you have plenty of headroom in it. You don't get a claustrophobic experience in here. It's just really, really comfortable in here. As you can see, we've installed the shelves on each side of the window so you have a place to put your drink or the TV remote. You know, as I keep mentioning, we, we're always trying to put 110 outlets where they can be used where everything's handy. Another neat feature we did on this coach is to the left and the right of the entryway, the hole, we have the plug in right now, but you can see where that iPad's laying. That's a great spot for the driver to put his or her stuff. And then there's the same piece of carpet on the other side. If you have a guest or a kid, they can stay up on the padding up on the mattress and then they have a place to put their clothes and everything in the evening when they go in for bed and it's a really nice feature it's a little hard to show in the video but everybody that's seen this feature absolutely loves it now as we move around over and look at the passenger side of the coach you can see we've equipped our coaches with a roof mounted dvd player and television it's a great place for your guests to be able to watch tv in the evening and then the crowning feature of the bunk is the escape hatch and viewing hatch. Here Tyler's looking around to show you it's really great. You know, I enjoyed laying in bed at night, just opening the hatch, looking into stars. If you're at a race event or a sporting event and you want to get some nice photo shots, you can stand there in the lookout and look all around or you can go right out and climb up on the roof because this coach has a full walk on roof you know we can put a rails up there and a canopy on the roof you can set your lawn chairs up there it's just an extremely well built coach here we're gonna remove the cab cut out or the bunk plug you know when you remove this it makes climbing in and out of the cab very easy if you have guests sleeping in the bunk, you would leave that in, but under normal driving conditions, you'd leave that bunk plug out. Getting in and out of the cab is very easy. Speaking of the cab, we're going to go ahead and start our tour of the inside of this cab. This coach is built on the Freightliner M2112 chassis, so this is the larger M2 chassis. Tyler's going to take a moment here and kind of walk you through some of the features. This has tilt and telescoping steering wheel. You just push that little pedal down and you can tilt, tilt the steering wheel or telescope it. It's very easy to do. Here's a nice shot of the leather wrap steering wheel. and You know, it may not seem like a lot to you right now, but when you drive these coaches for any length of time, having a really nice, comfortable steering wheel is very important and that's why when we bring in a coach we try to equip a, every one of them with these nice luxury steering wheels. This coach is equipped with the 13 speed Eaton Fuller Ultra Shift Plus transmission and I want to take a moment and try to explain this transmission to you. What this is is a 13 speed transmission that shifted automatically so there's no clutch on it when you want to drive you just go from neutral to drive and you step on the gas. As you step on the gas, the engine will shift through all 13 gears automatically. What's really innovative about this transmission is it senses the weight. So if you're not pulling a big trailer, it may take off in third gear and then shift to sixth gear, and then go to eighth gear and then progress through the, gear, the gears like that. It's just a, been a fantastic transmission. Everybody that has them has been extremely happy. It has hill start features on it. You can also use it in manual mode if you want. Just think about it. With this coach, you have 470 horsepower, 1,600 foot-pounds of torque, and 13 speeds of transmission. This thing is just phenomenal on the power aspect. This coach is also equipped with the air horn. Here's the microphone for your cell phone and your Bluetooth. And then we have all of that paired to the Kenwood navigation system on this coach. Here we're going to take just a minute and kind of walk you through a few of the brief screenshots of this coach. As we mentioned, it has full navigation, it has Bluetooth capability, it can be synced to your iPad. It seems kind of daunting, but we're going to walk you through all of that when you come to pick up the coach. And we cover it in great lengths in our IWS Advantage package. 
Okay, I want to take a, just a few moments and walk you through the switches here because it looks pretty daunting, you know, when you first look at this. But we're going to start here on the left with the trailer brake control. And this coach is equipped with air trailer brake options. So if you want to pull a trailer that has air brakes, you can connect right up to the glad hands and it automatically applies brake pressure to the trailers when you just touch the brakes. But if you want to manually apply brake pressure, you pull down on this trailer brake lever. We've also equipped this coach with a full electric trailer braking system too. So you have both choices with you at all times. Then the yellow button to the left is your parking brake button. Kind of want to remind you that this coach was designed, you know, to be parked on a hill and have adequate parking brake. There's no cheesy little spring brake here. When you pull that yellow button, the parking brakes apply and this coach is not going to move. The red button below it, if you choose to pull a trailer with air brakes on it, you would push this button in to release the trailer brakes. The two switches to the left are for the left window and the right hand window. Then we have the mirror heat switch button, so if you're out in cold weather you can turn this on and you have heated mirrors. Then we have the door lock button, we have the exhaust regeneration switch, the air suspension dump valve, the docking lights which are located on the side of the coach to help you at night if you're backing up to a trailer. Then we have your backup camera. Currently we have it set to be on just the coach, but we can hook up another camera on your trailer if you want, and when you turn that switch on, you'll have a camera on the back of your trailer as well. Then the other switches are just power outlets. And I hope I've done a good job of covering these switches for you. An important thing of any coach is accessibility, and here Tyler's gonna climb in and out of the coach just to kind of show you all of the additional grab handles and places where you can grab your hands to help yourself in and out of the coach. It's really easy to do and it's very well thought out. I want to talk just a moment about comfort in this coach and we've equipped this coach with flex steel driver and passenger seats. They're both air ride seats. They're fully adjustable. They have an adjustable backrest on them, adjustable armrests on them. It's absolutely the lap of luxury when you're sitting in these. It's so hard to show you in this video, but anybody that's driven in a class A, they always complain that it, everybody sits so far apart that it's hard to hear a conversation. As you can see inside of this coach, the driver and passenger sit real close to each other. They can have a nice conversation. The passenger can look at the navigation screen when you're driving down the road and can help the driver navigate. Drink holders are well within reach of each other, um, and the visibility is phenomenal. You know, this coach has a 60 degree wheel cut. I would venture to guess that this coach here will turn almost as sharp as a four door long bed Dooley Ford pickup. I mean, they're just incredibly easy to drive. They're very comfortable. The visibility is just, it's second to none. When you compare this to a class A coach, People really like these Freightliners because you have the hood out in front of you, so you have a great reference point as to where you are as you're driving down the road. The mirrors are in a great location, just like your pickup, so when you're backing up, you just look left and right and there's your mirror. When you drive a Class A with a bus, backing up is kind of a new experience because the front wheels typically sit behind you and the mirrors are way out in front of you. When you look at this coach, it's just like your pickup. The wheels are out in front of you and the mirrors are behind the front tires so it's very easy very natural transition to go from your pickup or your car to a motorhome we've had countless people come in here and their wives would not drive their class a motorhome and once we put them in one of these the wife is like hey i can do this and they drive them and love them it's everything is about cab comfort and keeping you comfortable and feeling like you are in control of the situation and it's very easy to do inside of this cab. I know I've tried to go slow, but I feel at the end of this video we went awful fast, but I just want to assure you, if you want to come out and give one of these a test drive, we'll spend all the time you want and make sure that you're very comfortable and you're very informed with your uh, new purchase. Now as we walk back through the coach, I'm going to walk you through the bathroom and boy does this coach have a beautiful bathroom and it's extremely spacious. Because we made the toilet and shower area all one common area there's no walls so there's lots of room to get in here and change clothes very easy to get in there move to clean it's just a, an incredibly spacious area in this coach it's very well lit 
We've used the finest of materials in here. Everything about it is designed for comfort and usability. Here's a shot of the vanity. It's all solid maple craftsmanship in it. We've been equipping all of our coaches with the macerator uh, toilet. We think it's absolutely the best choice for this coach. What's really neat about it is when you push the button, it grinds and emulsifies all the byproduct in the toilet before it goes down into the septic tank. So you can use regular toilet paper with it. It just makes uh, dealing with the waste a lot more uh, I was going to say enjoyable, but a lot more user friendly. Another neat feature about this coach or this particular toilet is it has a water saver mode. So if you go number one, you push the small button, it uses just a little bit of water. And of course, we have the larger button as well. Another neat feature is if you push both of them buttons at once, it drains the bowl completely. So when you're ready to travel, you don't have water sloshing back and forth in the toilet. Now as we move over into the shower area, you'll see this has an incredibly large shower. It has a really nice linen closet on it. It's also got lots of room in there for dirty clothes. We tried really hard to make this coach everything it could be. As you look inside the shower, notice there's a nice seat so you can sit down in there. We've asked Tyler to step inside the shower and Tyler's six foot four. So as you can see, there's an awful lot of room for even big guys to fit inside this shower. He has plenty of room above his head. There's a real nice skylight. The ceiling in this coach is about seven foot, eight inches off the ground. So there's lots of interior height. I think the natural maple wood just really sets this coach off. It's just spectacular. Now, now as we move into the master bedroom on this coach, it's just it's just like a wow factor when you get in here. But we also made it very useful and functional. We're going to start with the overhead cabinets over the top of the bed. There's lots of places to store things in there, um, extra linens, extra clothes. We've also added extra lighting features. As you can see, you can set different lighting elements in it to set your mood. We've also equipped the, the coach with a nightstand on each side of the bed. On the forward side of the bed, on one of the nightstands, we've installed the generator start button so you can be laying in bed and start the generator from bed. We've also installed 110 outlets and USB outlets on each nightstand. So each of you will have a place to charge your cell phone at night. Or if you have a CPAP machine, we made everything accessible for you. Nice thing about having the nightstands is you have a nice place to keep a pistol, keep your wallet, you know, cell phone charger, your TV remote control, your reading glasses. It doesn't seem like much, but when you live in these things like I have, it's very frustrating to not have them things sitting right next to you when you're laying in bed. So we really wanted to bring all them elements into this coach. Now, as we move around to the wardrobe closet, we did this entire uh, wardrobe closet in cedar. It just smells beautiful, it looks beautiful. It's just a fantastic uh, wardrobe area. We also have a Blu-ray player in this coach. It's all set up for a DirecTV satellite system. We put ceiling fans on it to help, you know, on them fall days when you don't want to run the air conditioner, you can just run the ceiling fans and create a nice little breeze through this coach. I don't know, I'm just so proud to offer this coach to you that I can't even hardly stand myself. I really hope you enjoyed this video tour. I really, really, truly thank you for all the time you spent with us. And I want to invite you to come out for a tour and be glad to take you out on a test drive. Again, thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you soon.